Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is creating the Doppler effect inside of Unreal Engine 5. So let me hit play and show what we're going to make today as it's a lot easier to explain with the audio. So as you can hear, we have these cars driving past and they are playing the Doppler effect. Now let's get rid of all of them except one so we can hear it a lot easier. So again, you can hear the Doppler effect taking part there. So what it is, it is the change in pitch and volume in the audio as the sound passes past us. So the official definition is the Doppler effect or Doppler shift is the change in frequency of a wave in relation to an observer who is moving relative to the wave source. So again, basically, it's the change in pitch as it passes past us. So the most common way you'll have heard this is driving past cars like so. So this is what we're going over in creating today. Obviously, it doesn't just have to be with cars, but that is the most common place you will hear it. So that's why I've got this effect on this example here. So without further ado, let me delete this and show you how I've done it. So this is actually very, very simple to do and won't take as long to do at all. Before we go into it, I'm just going to cover what I've set up already. So as you can see, I've obviously got this road here and four cars that are going to be driving past us like this. Inside of the car, all I'm very simply doing is I'm just getting the end point of where I want them to go to and then making them go from the beginning to the end. This isn't the most efficient way of doing this, but for what I'm doing, this is the best and the quickest and easiest way of doing it. Obviously, if I wanted to expand this further or do something else with it, I wouldn't be doing it like this. But for the purpose of the tutorial, this is perfectly fine. So I'm going to close that like so. And I've also already imported my car engine sound effect, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. So what we've got is we've just got this car engine sound here. Now what I've got is this is just a two second clip, I believe, which I've set to loop and is a perfect loop for me. So this is what we're going to have here sounding perfectly like this. Now, once you've got your sound effect imported into your game, what we're going to do is right click on it and create queue, opening it up straight away because we do want this to be an audio queue. In this, what we're going to do is select the wave player here and make sure that, that looping is ticked. Then out of the output of this, what we're going to do is you can get looping there as well if you wanted, but we don't need it since we've ticked looping there. But we're going to get Doppler. So we've now got the Doppler effect on this sound like so. It is that simple. That is all we need to do. It's as simple as that. If we hit play, we're going to have the car sound looping. Obviously, we're not going to be able to hear the Doppler because it's not moving, but we can hear it looping like so. We'll save that, and I'm also just going to take over at attenuation and lower this to maybe about 2500 instead of 3600, just again for the purpose of the tutorial and the size of my level. So I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to close that like so. Now what we need to do is we need to put this onto our car or the blueprint which we want to have this sound on. So I'm going to hit control space to open my content browser, open my car BP, add a component at the top left, and we're going to add an audio like so. The audio I'm using for this is obviously the car engine queue we just created here. We're going to compile and save that, and you can see this on here now. So in this first circle here is where the car engine is going to be at full volume. I think that makes sense. And then this outer circle here is where you're going to hear it. Now this is probably quite big, but again, for the purpose of the tutorial, this is perfectly fine. And we're going to close that like so. so. We don't actually need to do any coding for this. It does it all automatically for us already. If I select a car now, what you'll be able to see is the sound effect on here like so. So this also helps to get a real world example of how big the sound effect is going to be once you place it into your level. So again, for me, this is going to be perfectly fine. So let's hit play and test this out. So notice we can now hear the cars driving past and you can hear the pitch, the change in pitch as they drive past us. So the Doppler effect. So again, let's get rid of all but one. And we can then hear it going past like so. What I might do is actually increase the size of the fall off distance once again to what it was before, because that's what I had in the preview and that sounded a lot better. So we can now hear it going past perfectly like this with the change in pitch as it goes past us as well. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've set up the Doppler effect inside of Unreal Engine 5 and it's very quick and easy to do as you saw, there's no programming required, but a lot of people don't know about this amazing little trick which you can do. It's simply just one node, but something which is quite hidden to a lot of people. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.